Hey guys, just a quick rundown on the Saunders Machine Works fixture plate for the Grizzly G0704 mill. So this is my CNC Grizzly G0704. This plate should also fit the Precision Matthews PM25 MV. It shares the same dimensions on the table as far as the width, depth, and the T-slot spacing. There's a couple other Grizzly and Precision Matthews machines as well as some optimum machines that this should fit. But um, I would encourage you to compare specs and consult with Saunders Machine Works before ordering. So I'm just doing the quick rundown here to show you this plate and just some of the features so it bolts down uh, five bolts that are recessed hold it down to the original uh, table uh, all the holes are bored for a half inch uh, dowel pin and it is a perfect fit I've tried it in multiple places and the machining tolerances are spot on and then below that it is threaded for half inch bolt uh, Saunders Machine Works, they offer these rubber plugs which fit the holes perfectly and you just use a little pick to pop them out when you need them and the plugs are awesome keeping out chips, keeping coolant out uh, so it will reduce the amount of times you'll need to pull this thing to clean it. You'll still need to do it every so often. So I opted for the rubber fixture plate covers for the ends of the table because we only have 18 inches of travel in the X on these machines. Um, you know, if you wanted to, you could do plugs all the way, but I figured this pad actually serves as a double purpose if I wanted somewhere just to, you know, throw stuff down, set tools on, not worry about um, hurting the plate any, then that makes a good spot for it. So why this plate is awesome is their mod vice system. So the modular vice system. This is the fixed side, and there's parallels on either side, and I think I saw a video that John recommends just leaving them floating so that way you can make sure they're flush to the table, but you can certainly snug them up once you've got it set. And these are uh, talon grips, and then the other side just has a flat bar, but you could put talon grips or the bar on either side. You could set it this way, do a moving side of the vice system on either side or you could set it up to use this side you can flip it around to use the other side I have seen where somebody has had the talon grips out and then overlapped on top of here up against this bar or put talon grips there so you can really maximize the uh, the reach or the, the usable clamping area especially with a smaller table like this so not going to take up too much time with this I won't be able to run parts yet as I'm still working on some updates to my spindle motor for this machine so hopefully in about a week um, I still don't have the plate actually torqued down to the table because I do need to take it off for some other stuff that I'm doing just some cleaning but I just wanted to give a quick rundown. So clamp this block, uh, this block of aluminum in. I'm just going to put it on this parallel up against the talon grips. Slide in the moving side. You got that snug. We'll go ahead and lock down. And there are torque specs recommended for this. I'm not going to be using a torque wrench just for this demonstration. And this is the tiny vise version as well. They also sell this with Mighty Bite Pitbull clamps available. But all you would do is torque down once you have the fixed side or and the moving side positioned and locked in. And once you torque this down to spec, it's going to hold in your piece. So another feature with the dowel pins. Go ahead and loosen this is for locating, setting up fixtures. Say you had a fixture you wanted to bolt down to this. You know, you can use those as locating features. You can pop out here, you could have one in the corner so you could locate on the corner. But it's just a good precise way to locate stuff. So that's about it for this first video, just showing it on the machine and just showing some of the uh, features. 
of this and why the mod vice system is just awesome so we'll get some machining videos and post up some uh, further reviews very shortly um, and just for those of you wondering this plate is pretty heavy but with the NEMA 23 570 ounce stepper motors I'm actually getting pretty good rapid speeds um, I've gone up to 180 haven't had any kind of issues with stalling or missing steps just by moving the table around so right now at 140 inches per minute moving the table around just fine even with the added weight so no issues there everything's looking really good with this and um, make sure you subscribe like the video and I will be posting up some machining videos with this setup uh, hopefully in the next one to two weeks so we'll get to those as quickly as possible thanks for watching guys